To begin the login process, you should have a driver ID and password. Notice the keyboard to type in your driver ID appears on the screen. Once you have typed in your driver ID, you can click on the next button to type in your password. Once you type in your driver ID and password, you need to submit this information. You can click on the Done button on the keyboard, or you can click on the Down arrow to collapse the keyboard. At this point in the login process, the device is making a data call to upload your log sheets. This may take a little bit of time, depending on how many logs need to be uploaded to the device. Once your logs have been received, you will be notified from the Verify Log Data screen that there may be some actions you will be required to complete. You will now be directed to the duty status screen. This is where you will choose your duty status and or any other status you will need to track on your logs. The choose status screen gives you the option to change your status to either on duty driving, on duty not driving, or sleeper berth. For the sake of logging into the device, click on the on driver button. This next screen will require you to enter your shipment information. You have the option to enter a new shipment ID or use the current shipment ID. As well, you will be able to tell if you have yet to enter your shipment information by looking at the icons at the top right corner of the screen. This icon means you have yet to enter your shipment information. The shipment icon will be removed once you enter your shipment information. To enter a new shipment ID, you will need to click on the Enter Shipment ID field. The keyboard will appear so you can enter your shipment ID. Once you have entered an ID, you can click on the Done button. This next screen will list your current shipment on the left screen. If this is correct, you can click on the Next button. You are now logged in to the device and have successfully changed your duty status and shipment information. After you log in to the device, you should be at the Home screen. To enter your shipment information, you will need to click on the eDriver Logs button. You will be directed to the ELD main screen. Click on the Shipment button. You will notice on the left side of the screen there are current shipments already entered. For the sake of entering a new shipment, you will learn to remove the old shipment information. To delete or remove the current shipment information, you will need to click on the radio button to the right of the current shipment number. Once you have clicked on the radio button, you can now click on the Remove button. You will now have a blank screen to enter your new shipment information. To enter your new shipment information, you will need to click on the Shipment ID field. The keyboard will appear for you to enter your information. Once you have finished entering your new shipment information, you can click on the Done button or the Down arrow to collapse the keyboard. Once the keyboard collapses, you can click on the Add button to add your shipment information. You will notice the shipment information you entered is listed under the Current Shipment field. To return to the Home screen, click on the Home button. You will now learn how to enter your trailer information. Click on the eDriver Logs button. You will notice on the top right of the screen there is a red trailer icon. This means that you have not entered your trailer information. This will disappear from the screen once you've entered your trailer information. To enter your trailer information, click on the Trailers button. Entering your trailer information is similar to entering your shipment information. If you have a trailer entered in your current trailers field, you can remove it prior to entering your new trailer information. Click on the radio button now to choose the trailer you would like to remove. Click on the Remove button to delete the current trailer information. Now you will need to enter your current trailer. To enter your trailer, click on the Enter Trailer ID field. The keyboard will appear for you to enter your new trailer ID. Once you have entered your information, you can click on the Done button. You will notice the new trailer ID will be under the Current Trailers field. To return to the ELD Home screen, click on the Home button. You have now been directed to the ELD home screen. Notice that the red trailer icon on the top right of the screen has disappeared since you have entered your new trailer information. You have now completed the module on entering shipment and trailer information. To log in a co-driver, you will need to click on the driver button on the ELD main screen. The co-driver will be directed to the login screen to enter his or her driver ID and password. Click on the Enter Driver ID field to type in the driver ID. Once the keyboard appears, the co-driver will need to type in his or her driver ID. Then click on the Next button to bring the cursor down to the password field. Click on the Next button. Once the cursor is on the password field, the co-driver can type in his or her password. When the password is entered, you can click on the Done button or the Down arrow to collapse the keyboard. The co-driver will need to click on the Sign In button once this screen appears. The PCT will now retrieve the co-driver's logs. This may take a few minutes depending on how many logs need to be retrieved. Once the logs have been retrieved, you will see this Verify Log Data pop-up screen. This screen will notify the co-driver that there may be a need to review his or her log information. 
you will need to click OK to complete the login. To complete the login, the co-driver will need to choose a duty status. Click on the status button. The choose status pop-up screen will appear so the co-driver can choose a duty status. For the sake of training, we will choose sleeper berth. The co-driver will need to enter the current shipping information for his or her logs. The shipment ID will need to be entered by clicking the Enter Shipment ID field first. The keyboard will appear so the ID can be entered. To collapse the keyboard, you will need to click on the down arrow. Once the ID is entered and the keyboard has collapsed, you can then click on the Add button. Once the co-driver is logged into the PCT, the ELD screen will show the co-driver's status. When you need to switch the co-driver, which is now the inactive driver, to the active driver, you will need to click on the co-driver's status on the ELD screen. This will switch the co-driver to the active driver. You have now completed the co-driver login process. To begin the logout process, you will need to click on the status button. To go off duty and sign out of the PCT, you will need to click on the off sign out button on the choose status pop-up screen. After clicking on the off sign out button, you will have two sign out options. You can either sign out completely by choosing the off sign out option, or you can sign off the device by remaining in the on duty status by choosing the on sign out option. The verify log data screen will appear and will let you know whether or not you have log information to review. If you have already certified your logs, this screen will appear stating that you do not have any logs to review. If you have logs that need your review, another screen will appear letting you know this. Items that may need your review are uncertified logs, unidentified driving events, and or conflicts. If you choose no on this pop-up screen, you will skip the review logs process and you will then be logged out of the PCT. If you choose yes on the pop-up screen, you will be directed to go through the review logs process. For the sake of training, we will go through the review logs process. Click on the yes button to review your logs. If there are any items that need reviewing, the screen will look like this. You have the option to annotate, accept, or reject the log item. If you choose to annotate a log item, you will be directed to another screen to enter the annotation. Once you have chosen one of the three options, your log will reflect the change on the screen and you will then need to click on the Done button. Once all items have been reviewed, you will be able to certify your logs. It is recommended that if you are logging off duty, you certify your logs prior to leaving the truck. To certify your logs, you will need to click on the Certify button. Every time you enter your logs, you will need to enter your password, verifying that you approve of the logs. This is a safeguard so that no one else can verify your logs. Once you enter your password, you can click on the Agree button. Once you have changed your duty status to off-duty and verified your logs, you will be directed to the login screen. As a reminder, if you do not see the login screen prior to you leaving the truck, you are not logged out of the PCT. You must see the screen prior to leaving the truck. You have now completed this module on logging out of the PCT.